Hey guys, I got a bunch of requests on how to program this Arduino prop controller that we built last week. Um, actually, that's not true. I've had one request and that was from Rich Dupree, but we all know how much help he needs. So anyway, um, I've played around the program and uh, I think I got it figured out pretty well. So I'm going to show you what I have learned and uh, we'll get this uh, controller programmed. So let's get into it. Okay, programming our little uh, prop controller we have here. So, very first thing we're going to do before we do anything is we're going to plug it into our computer via USB port. So, I'm going to do that and I'm going to let it run through its little sequence. You see the little flashy lights and whatnot it's going off. And uh, once that's done, I'm going to uh, fire up the program. It's the same program that we use to um, upload the firmware and and the, the audio and all that stuff. So, all right. So it's done here, so let's open the program here. Okay, now I'm going to move it over here to uh, the other screen so you can see it. So here we go. So remember this, uh, this is that same program. Uh, first thing we're going to do is go over here to the serial communications. And you'll see up here to the top where it says it's not connected. So the first thing we're going to do uh, is we're going to connect it. And one thing you want to make sure you have is a COM port selected. Um, if you start up the program and you don't have the controller plugged in, this will be blank. So what you have to do is exit out of the program, plug in the prop controller, and then start up the program again. So, all right, so we are going to connect, and just like that, it is connected. Um, we'll do this little thing here. All right, and as you see right here, it says it's ready. So. Um, when you first um, when you first do this, I've already played with this once, so um, this is what you see originally. This is the basic test that's already preloaded um, onto the to the program or whatever the heck it is, so or, or already on the the controller. So this is the test sequence, and I think I could play it right now. Let's give it a shot here. Okay, so you can see the little lights over here going off, um, showing that the relays are firing. So, all right, if you want to actually physically see the uh, the relay boards firing and everything, there's this little button right here. Um, it says send played status to controller in real time. So if you click that, it turns it green. Now when we press the play button, um, it'll the relay should fire off when it plays. There you go. So basically that means you can hook it up to your laptop uh, out in the field to your prop and you can um, play with it uh, hooked up right there and you know manipulate it and everything. So that's a pretty cool little feature. I'm going to turn that off for right now. So let's say we're going to make a new sequence. So we're going to go over here to file and we're going to go to new controller and let's going to call this, oops. Got the uh, PIR firing off here. I'm going to turn that a little bit. So I'll keep triggering that off. Um, let's call this da -da -da, um, zombie test C is that Z? sequence. Did I spell that right? I'll feel like an idiot if I didn't. All right, so we're going to name our uh, sequence, and then we have our ambient MP3, and we have our, our scare MP3. So basically the ambient is the music that plays all the time in the background. Once it's triggered, the uh, audio that plays is your scare MP3. So let's just go ahead and click this, and I know on my desktop I'm going back to my zombie containment um, stuff that I had right here, and I know I have some audio, so... Uh, I'm doing the ambient, so I want the announcer only. We'll use that one. And then our scare, we will use same folder. Let's find uh, da, 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 mm, zombie alarm. Okay, so we got our two audio files now. And we can rename, I believe, maybe not here. Okay, um, save. I'm not sure I should do all that. 
All right, you have your, uh, you see your audio um, uh, peaks and everything right here, and you see as it, it carries on past the screen. So there's this little ball right here that you can click and you can drag it, and it'll shrink it up. So you can get it all onto uh, to one screen. And see, there's the end of it. Um, if you're, you know, getting real close detail when you want to, you know, have something fire at a pre precise instant, you can zoom in and and um, and get that point really quick. So I'm going to sc scroll out here. Okay. So we got our four outputs here, and here's where you can rename them. Output one. Let's say this is the. Um, um, fence. I'm just going off of one of my old props here and rename this one um, Fuse Box. Okay, and I'm just right click and rename. This is going to be the um, Beacon Light. Did I spell that right? Probably not. B Bacon Beacon Beacon. And then I had another channel which oh, was the uh, the firecracker okay so now we got our four uh, channels here this is super easy so there's two ways of doing this you can left click oops excuse me before we do that we got this toggle here toggle edit to select mode right now we are in select mode which is why when you drag it it uh, it's creating those boxes and everything click it again now we're in edit mode Left click and drag. When you hit the uh, the yellow box indicates that the relay is being triggered. Okay, this uh, assuming you're using the normally uh, open um, on the uh, the relays. If you're using normally closed, then it'd be the exact opposite. But just for the sakes, we're using normally open. So I'm just left clicking and dragging. Okay. And let's say let's say the, the the beacon light we want to go the entire time. Whoops. Okay, dang it. And it goes both ways. You can you can go left or right. So you saw I um, accidentally got the firecracker down here by accident. If you right click and hold, it uses it as an erase. Okay. So let's erase that. Let's erase that. Let's take a little chunks out of here so on and so forth. So that's how easy it is to program it here. All right, so now let's say that you want to use the uh, the button banger like everybody's used to, you know, hitting the buttons, holding it, and, and uh, sequencing that way, okay? Well, you can still do that on the computer here, and I'll show you how. So um, I'm going to toggle back to the select and I'm going to select oops I'm going to select all this right click and you can hit cut or we can just um, toggle back to the edit and now we got a nice clean slate here so all right so we can do this using the uh, the keyboard here um, let me move my monitor over here just a little bit oops Let's move this over here a little bit so you can using the one two three four buttons I have a keypad here too but it would be one two three and four so one two three four okay um, so what we're gonna do is up here in the record we're gonna hit that and then once that green box is started once we hit play now it's gonna record your sequence so and it's gonna start from the beginning so I'm gonna hit play and I'm just gonna I'm banging away at the one two three four. Let's say if I need to hold this button down, let's see. So it's that simple, okay? So now let's stop it. And I'm gonna turn this radio button back on for the uh, play in real time. And let's play it. It should play all of our sequence that we just recorded. You can get it going pretty crazy. It's pretty awesome. Alright, so let me show you one other thing. I'm going to turn the record off. I'm going to turn the radio off so the PRR doesn't take off 
on us. So I'm going. I'm just right clicking and clearing all this off. Now, just like the button banger, um, you know, it's it's really cool that you can do all the the um, different channels and everything all at once. Here's a really cool feature. Okay, so now we're going to go back to um, record. Let's say we already know that I want the beacon light to go the entire length of the um, the scare. So I'm just going to, oops, highlight this entire one just like that. Okay. Then I'm going to right click and clear that one off. Now I need to program the the fence, the fuse box, and the firecracker. This is where it gets really cool. So um, we got the record. I'm going to hit the play button, but this time I'm only going to do channel one. Okay? You can do one channel at a time. So here I'm just banging the, uh, the number one button. Okay? And we'll stop that. So now we got our channel one done and uh, you know we can come back now and we can do our second channel just by hitting the number two button it's not going to override the, uh, the any of the other channels you can do one channel at a time which is really really cool I think because um, you know uh, with other prop controllers with the with the banger buttons you have to do all of them all at once uh, as far as I know anyway so got that and then you know down here the firecracker um, do the same thing whoops right click and I hit play set off for firecracker here four so that's pretty awesome right so I can hit stop hit the little radio button and I can hit play and I'll do all four channels at once So that's very cool. I'm uh, I'm I'm pretty pleased with how they uh, how they did that. So yeah, this uh, little red ball obviously just scrolls down. Um, as you can see here, there is a time limit maximum you can do, which is I think is approximately one uh, minute thirty. Um, and this is obviously the cutoff point. So keep that in mind. Okay. So two other things I wanted to show you. Um, if I go back to the uh, selected properties, a couple other things you can do. Okay, so the ambient uh, music. We didn't, uh, selected the announcer only, whatever. We never heard this um, audio go, um, just because we're only working on the, the scare. Let's say you need to change that. Um, so what you need to do is you click here, and it brings up this tiny little box way over here. That's where you can select and you can come over here and find a different um, a different file so let's just pick one okay so now let's say you want to change your scare audio uh, it took me a while to figure this out so what you actually have to do is come over here and click on scare sequence and this is where it has your um, your uh, scare audio file so if you click on that same thing and let's just pick one blah okay so it changed it it changed it down here but it is pretty much the exact same file so that's why it didn't look like it changed anything um, okay so let's go back over here to the um, zombie test sequence um, here is where you can change your uh, your delay sequence so once it goes through its cycle right now it's set up to a 30 30 second delay it takes 30 seconds before you can it's able to be triggered again so if you click on this and you can change it to 20 seconds or you can change it to 15 seconds or you can change it to 90 seconds whatever you need it to do so those were the things that I found um, useful pretty much everything you needed to know to um, to uh, get your controller up and running so now there's two things we have left to do we have to actually put it on to the uh, to the prop controller so we don't have to have it hooked up to the laptop all the time so um, if we go back over here to the serial communications 
and I'm going to turn that radio button off. It's a little, two little triangles here that says send command to the board. This is going to send the um, the um, the commands of uh, of this of each channel uh, to the board. Okay, so if we click on that, and we are going to say um, upload all. And it says, please wait. And you see the little box there going. Once it says PIR ready, you're ready to go. Okay, so that has the um, the, the sequences um, put onto the to the board now. Um, what we need to do now is also get the audio. So one thing we're going to do, we're going to uh, disconnect our um, controller from the computer. Okay. I'm going to unplug it from the USB. I'm going to eject the card. There are the little, yeah, the little uh, SD card. I have my adapter here. One thing that's very important to know that when you go to upload the audio onto this, anything that you have on here is going to be erased. So don't put anything else on here that you need. So I'm going to plug that into my laptop and I'm going to come up here and I'm going to click export audio to SD card and here are our audio files that we had selected uh, from when we were playing around with the sequencing those two here we're going to come over here and select our drive which is the G drive that's the drive that uh, uh, it it assigns my SD card. Yours might be something different. So I'm going to select that. It automatically renames. And like I said, it's going to automatically override over top of whatever uh, whatever you have on there already. So I'm going to hit transfer. And here it says, this will clear the destination drive. Is this OK? Yes. Done. Boom. OK. So take my SD card back out and I'm going to put it back into the mp3 player and if you remember um, the little wall wart that we had for uh, um, controlling this thing I'm going to plug this into an outlet now and I'm going to plug it into our Arduino As you see, it's not connected to the uh, computer anymore. Here's our USB card. Before I do that, I forgot. I'm going to unplug this again. We need audio. So I have a little Bluetooth speaker here. I'm going to turn on. Okay. I'm going to plug that into my MP3 player. Yeah, that's got to be right, right? Yeah, we'll find out. Now we're going to plug it into our power. I don't, I don't. I, I don't know how to turn it down. It's really loud. I'm sorry, I can't turn it down. How do I turn this down? Okay. Well, we're just going to go ahead and unplug that, but uh, yeah. There you go, guys. All right, so we successfully um, loaded a sequence onto the prop controller. We got our audio onto the MP3 player. It obviously is playing the audio. So um, there you go, guys. That's pretty much it. Um, I just learned all this stuff simply by just playing around the program. Um, I didn't find any online, uh, you know, like on the on the four banger um, or uh, button banger website. There wasn't any thing on how to program that I saw. There might be a. I, I heard that there's a YouTube video out there, but I hadn't seen it. So anyway. 
like I said, I found this out or figured this out just by playing around with the program. Really super simple. So if you guys got any questions, I'll be glad to try to help you. I know Mike North is, uh, is a genius behind this thing, and I'm sure he would be glad to help you as well. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. This is uh, programming our controller, and I guess the only thing left I have to do is, um, you know, put it in an enclosure and hook it up to some props and uh, let it go. So maybe that will be our, uh, our next video. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll check you later. Hey guys, I got a bunch of requests on how to program this Arduino prop controller. Why can't I say that? Hey guys, I, uh, Arduino prop, Arduino, Arduino pop, uh, shit. Program this Arduino prop controller. I cannot fucking say that. Hey guys, I got a bunch of requests on how to program this Arduino prop, plop, 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 plop controller. The plop controller. Whew.